Hello from London. Where are we today? We are in Knightsbridge, a very posh area of this already expensive city accompanied by typical London weather. This man made us come all this way. He is one of the best pastry chefs in the world. This is Cedric Rowley. We are in search for his croissant and a few other items to see if they are worth the trip. Luckily for us, we live in London and he has an outlet shop at the Five Star Berkeley Hotel. And so I stood in line, just at the right time to avoid a massive queue. I managed to buy one croissant, one pain au chocolat and one vanilla flan. We will try them, we will digest them and then we will tell you if they are worth the price you pay. I even brought my own chopping board. Just look at her curves. Such uniform color and an even bake. You can't see this, but my mouth was watering already. I can really appreciate that the bottom part of the croissant is as crispy as the top part. So it's very nice and uniform. It's flaky, it's buttery. I think it's everything a croissant should be. Taste wise, I'm not really impressed. It's very bland. I, like, I love the texture, but it lacks flavor. Yeah, I think his texture is a 10 out of 10, 100%. One of the things that he likes to do is dip it in coffee. However, I'm not a coffee drinker, neither is my friend. I would expect a little bit more flavor in a bite of a croissant. There's a bit of a savory kick to it as well. I think it would make a fantastic croissant for a ham and cheese croissant. Any kind of filling, it would be one of the best damn croissants you can have. As you can see, it is a very enjoyable croissant. Nevertheless, even the pigeons enjoyed it. After that introduction, we were impatient and wanted to try the pan au chocolat. This was a seven pound vanity purchase. Our expectations have grown since the first bite just now. This is an equally sexy contender. I like curves, so I stopped and stared for a while before having a bite. The bite I've just taken reminds me of a croissant because where I've bitten has no chocolate. I'm actually kind of curious to hear what you have to say about it. Got the same reaction of Avery. So let's bite the chocolate. Mmm, that chocolate, which I like. It's like finding a treasure inside a croissant. Guiding others to a treasure I cannot possess. Our last sample of the day was the vanilla flan. This 12 pound crisp fluted pastry with real vanilla was super decadent. It's good. The cream is very dense, very flavorful. It reminds me like a pudding. Now it's my turn. Mm. It's almost like a very intense vanilla egg custard tart or like a pasta linata. I can taste something, but I don't know what it is. Reminds me like something from the childhood, you know? There's definitely something that reminds me of my childhood as well, even though we both had different childhoods. What are you talking about? I really appreciate the, um, the caramelization on the top. It adds it extra depth and flavor. Some might like it, some might not like it, but I really, really like it. In conclusion, I ended up spending 32 pounds without any beverages. Since you are making it all this way, you will be bound to spend more than you anticipated in spending. Even though this is situated in the five-star Berkeley Hotel, you get to come in via a side entrance for that takeaway experience. With their hefty price tag, you will also pay for their luxury takeaway box. People don't really care too much of it, as it is left untidily on the wet tabletops of the exterior of this fine establishment. At the end of the day, despite the rain, we truly enjoyed ourselves. We were able to satisfy curiosity. Let's break down the work. We both agreed the croissant was worth it. It was a 10 out of 10 for flaky and a 10 out of 10 for uniform bite. Every bite was consistent. Every bite felt like a new bite for the first time. However, don't just come for one croissant. Try his other products. As for the pan au chocolat, I wouldn't really recommend it. It was flaky, but it was only a 2 out of 10 for uniform bite. We had to search for chocolate. Don't make me search for chocolate. We were expecting every bite to have some chocolate and some flaky pastry. This we did not get. If you want an all-round flaky pastry with a uniform chocolate bite, here's a tip. Order a croissant and dip it in a hot chocolate. And to conclude, 
The highlight of this adventure was the vanilla flan. Get this, don't think. If you see it, just get this. It was super decadent. On the flaky meter, this can compete with the croissant we had from earlier. So another 10 out of 10 with an excellent uniform bite with an 8 out of 10. As for flavor wise, it was an 8.5 out of 10. In our opinion, it's better to get one vanilla flan and share that than to have two croissants for the same price. Well, there you have it guys, a soft introduction to Cedric Rollet and what he has to offer here in London. We came, we ate, we were impressed. Yes, we were. Would we come back? Yes, but not in the near future. We need time to digest the idea of paying £12 for one pastry item. In the meantime, we hope you've enjoyed what you've watched. Please leave a comment below and let us know if you would try some pastries from his shop. Until then, see you next time.